Welcome back to The Timeline. I'm Emma Connolly. And I'm Smith Vasallo, and today we're talking about Beyonce's album. Okay, so before Queen Bey was a solo artist, she was a member of girl group Destiny's Child, which I'm sure you've all heard of, even though it was before our time. Yeah, it was. Um, that was with Kelly Rowland and Michelle Williams, so they were all iconic, but obviously Beyonce was the shining star she was the queen. of the group. I mean, she'll forever be a queen. So yeah, like, queen. anything we say today, if you disagree with us, take it with a grain of salt. Yeah, because, because like, praise Beyonce. Yeah. Like, woo, woo. So they first charted with some singles in 1997 and then later released their first album in 1999, no, 1998, and it was self-titled Destiny's Child. Then after that, they released The Writing on the Wall in 99, Survivor in 2001. Obviously, like, that song is so good. Yeah. Like, it's an album, but the song, mm-hmm. Survivor, is so good. Um, Eight Days of Christmas in 2001. Okay. So, Christmas I've song never one. listened to that, but I need no. to after reading about yeah. it. Destiny Fulfilled in 2004, and then they released a greatest hits album called Number Ones in 2005, and that was kind of, like, their goodbye. Mm-hmm. Not really, like, a messy breakup or anything. They all just grew out of yeah. it. I mean, it was like a young women's band and they were done with that. Um, so Destiny's Child was ranked in 2008 as one of the top 100 groups of all time by Billboard. So I think that's really awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, but then while they were still together, Beyonce released her first solo album, Dangerously in Love. It was all about her love with Jay-Z. And I just think it's so iconic that she wrote an album about him in 2003 and they're still together. Yeah. Like how many singers have that's been together for 21 time. years? Yeah, not, not, many. not a lot of people. That's crazy, actually. Crazy in Love, obviously the most successful song of the album. So good. Maybe you can get us to sing it later. Um, so the album and song together won five Grammys at the 2004 Grammy Awards. Mm-hmm. I think that's why we're so iconic, actually. Were you born in 04? I was born in 04. And I was born in 04. So Beyonce's born. Grammys yeah. were right when we were born. born. Mm-hmm. Um, and then... In 2006, she released B-Day, which is so fun, but originally it was meant to be released right after Dangerously in Love, but Dangerously in Love was so successful, so popular that they pushed it back and let Dangerously Love have the limelight, which I think is kind of iconic. Like She recorded two albums and then didn't publish the second because the first did so well, and then B-Day did really well, debuted in the top 200 on Billboard won Best Contemporary R&B Album at the 2007 Grammys. Mm -hmm. Some hit songs are Deja Vu, Ring the Alarm, Irreplaceable. So not her biggest hits. Yeah, Irreplaceable is pretty big. Yeah, but like still recognizable songs Mm -hmm. that you would know. And then her album that, it's probably my favorite Beyonce album actually, was released in 2008 and it's I Am Sasha Fierce. It's actually like a two-sided album. So I Am is one side, that's like Beyonce. And the second album second half is Sasha Fierce which was like supposed to be her like alter ego okay and I think it's really funny so many artists like come up with these alter egos like remember when Miley Cyrus had one a couple years ago no but you know what I was just thinking you know that video of Drake where he's like Anita Max win (laughs) (laughs) back to back to Queen Beyonce. Beyonce so Sasha Fierce was like her alter ego this album was certified as six times platinum wow which is crazy it won seven Grammys. That's a lot. Obviously, it had, like, the most iconic tracks. Yeah. Halo, Single Ladies, If I Were a Boy. And then she went on tour for two years, 20, 2009 to 2010, the mm-hmm. I Am Tour. Mm-hmm. A really just an iconic era in Beyonce's yeah. life. Probably when we both, like, probably first heard her. Yeah, and I think that, like, like you just said, those are her most, like, iconic songs. Like, when, you know, when... A hundred years from now, when people are looking back, those are the songs they're gonna look they're gonna back sing at. Halo and single ladies. Yeah. yeah, all the single ladies, all, all the single ladies, ladies, all the single ladies. I only think of like up, Glee up in the club. And so I'm gonna talk about her newer albums. And so starting off, four was released in 2011, and the album name was like four, like like the number four. And so I was like, oh, maybe this is because it was like her fourth solo album or something. But then after doing a bit of research, I found out that that is not the reason. It is because, no, it's because like she has a thing for the number four. Like I guess her birthday, Jay-Z's birthday, her wedding anniversary all fall on like the fourth day of the month. Like different months and like so. Now don't take me on that. Like that could totally like be like a lot. That's just what I read on (laughs) Variety. Like, I, I trust not, that. I did not cross-check with, like, Google on Beyonce's birthday. But, you know, like... Hey, if, Siri. What is Beyonce's birthday? Uh, what? 
September fourth. September fourth. Okay, see. What? So um, so she has like a like uh the number four means a lot to her, I guess. So that's why she named the album that. Um, and some songs on this album that you know mean a lot to diff- like mean a lot or definitely are still um These heard are a lot today too. are Run the World, Girls, and then Love on Top. Mm-hmm. And then she also. Finally. And she also announced her pregnancy at the 2011 VMAs when she oh, was singing that was so song, iconic. which is so iconic. Like the way she was like Blue Ivy. Like okay, give me one second. My Let guilty pleasure movie water. is Magic Mike. <laughs> I have never seen. I watch it for the dancing, guys. Mm-hmm. The choreography is really good. All right. You're like the only person who could say, say that, and I would like half believe. Yeah. No. In 2013, Beyonce released her self-titled album, Beyonce, um, and it was dropped in the middle of the night. Like nobody knew that this was coming out. Like just randomly, she was like, "Boop, there you go." Um, That's just like good. dropped That's so the Taylor album. Swift of her. No warning, no promotion. <laughs> Please, Taylor. So, and this song or this album was also paired with music videos. So each song on this album got its own music video, which I think is pretty cool. Um, but none of the songs on this album look like crazy, crazy, vi- like viral or like are so oh, like yeah, huge. Yeah, there was no like lead there was, up yeah, to it. there was no lead up to it, so it kind of makes sense why. I guess she just did it for artistic reasons, mm-hmm. which is like good for her. Yeah, iconic. Yeah, like if you want to do that, go for it. Honestly, like good for you for making something that you genuinely want to create instead of for mm-hmm. other people. So the next album that Beyonce released was Lemonade, which was released this in was 2016. So good. Yeah, and it was one of her b- biggest albums of her career, and even earned her a Peabody Award in entertainment for the way that the album quote addressed black culture and feminism. And when I was reading this, it reminded me. Have you ever seen that one SNL skit? Okay. Well, it's a really funny skit. And it's like the day Beyonce turned black because like oh this whole yeah thing, yeah I have whole, seen yeah, that because the whole album she's like embracing her you know like black culture yeah I love which is like what's great the one, for like, her Texas Bama that one I love that one I don't know but like this is I think one yeah. of her best albums in my opinion I think it showed a lot about her mm-hmm. her creativity I agree. her her music and I just it's a great album so many of the songs on Lemonade like were so popular yeah when I was in like eighth ninth grade I like dance competitions for the hip-hop dances oh i bet every other dance was a lemonade mix they would mix all the songs from lemonade mm-hmm. I it bet. Was, honestly i got a little tired of it because of how many times yeah. people did that but it just goes to show how good that album really was mm-hmm. and then in 2020 which is most recently she released oh 2022 i'm sorry everybody in 2022 she released renaissance um which is her most recent album drop like i said it was accompanied by a tour which got amazing reviews she brought out her daughter which I think was oh the dance the, yeah, yeah I did the dance, dance in the Bloodlines song yeah which yeah. every every um she did every show which I thought was amazing and I love if you watch that the first show she looks so nervous and yeah. she looks like a little kid and then like a year later she looks so confident yeah. she blends in with the dancers and she looks like a teenager but it's crazy like, you can though, see her it's grow not even up a year that. later it's no, like it three six four months, months. Yeah. yeah it's like crazy. She, like, like, grew up so much. Yeah. I mean, I guess when you're that age, you grow a lot really quickly. quickly yeah. And, like, just her confidence, yeah. too, was really cool It was to see. really, really cool. Um, and my favorite song off this album is America Has a Problem. I don't know if you know that song. I not But the, la- the rap, I think it's with Kendrick Lamar. Oh, I love Kendrick You know Kendrick what's going to be good He's with Kendrick so good. Lamar is... When does when he release a new Kendrick album? Kendrick Lamar, you know it's going to be... Bad Blood Fire. Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> <laughs> that Kendrick is a fire. So that's where we're going because Beyonce said that um, Renaissance was part of the first was the first act of a three act project, um, and so then she announced that she was releasing a no- another album. I'm so excited about and, this. And um, so she dropped the first single off the album, which is Texas Hold'em, and it's so good. It's good. It has gotten it. mixed reviews though. So I give it a ten out of saying, ten as a little country bump kid. The same Texas. I give it Parker like a, I give it like a, like a six. I really want to learn that TikTok dance to oh, this. I it's I so fun. Yeah. I give it like a six. I think it's fine. Like, I think that her singing's fine. I and think like, the album is going to be good. I think the album is going to be good. I just think that, I don't really know if country is her. I mean, like, I didn't, I don't, <clears throat> I don't love Texas Hold'em, but I hope that the rest of the album is really good. And yeah. I bet it will be because all of her albums are absolutely fantastic. Mm-hmm. Um, I just didn't love it. I was like, yeah. 
But like overall, Beyonce is so iconic. She, really she is. ate up everything. Always she eats eat. up everything. She eats. Like she I want to look that good when I'm her age. Yeah. I want my kids to be that beautiful. Like really, Beyonce is just a queen. She's she queen is. for a reason. Queen B, yep. So, yep. Yeah. That was the timeline on Beyonce's albums. For SGTV, I'm Emma Connolly. And I'm Samantha Vasallo.